Well, it's been a long day. Uh, I was trying to get started on the foam. I've decided not to do the uh, Cowboys uh, Montana Serenade with the Cowboy and the Pioneer Girl. I not now. I'm going to have to do that another time. And the reason I say that is because it usually takes me a week or two just to get myself psyched up to do something that complicated. I'm already psyched up to do the uh, mountain man on the on the uh, rock outcropping, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I haven't got enough clay to do the uh, cowboy and the horse and the, the lady all at once, but so uh, I've got to wait till I can afford to buy some clay. And uh, do the foam uh, around the the bottom of the base. I've got to figure out what I'm going to do on that. Um, I was getting ready to do the foam, and I couldn't find my foam. It comes in two parts, uh, A, B, and uh, couldn't find it. I finally found it today. Everything's still hard to find because of the move I made in in uh, July which is strange because I haven't had a chance to really do much. Anyway, found the foam but then I didn't have any cups to mix it in so I went to the uh, local dollar store and got cups and uh, even some plastic forks to uh, mix the foam with because you gotta pour the uh, A, B mixture together um, and then I got home and started doing something with my drill, my cordless drill. It fell on the floor and bounced back with the uh, uh, Phillips uh, screw head on it and it poked right into my uh, right leg, right in the side of it. And there's something you got to understand when uh, you're a uh, type 2 diabetes and you get an injury in your leg, it's not a simple patch and and walk away. You really have to take a, a extra care because it can turn into something that infects your leg for three or four, even six months. Uh, I, I Every summer it seems like I, I start out the summer fine and then I scrape my leg on something and I can count on having troubles with my leg for the rest of the damn summer. It's a pain being old. <laughs> anyway, and uh, so I went, had to go to the drugstore because I had nothing uh, as far as anti antibiotics or anything like that to put on uh, the wound. Um, because that's still some in one of these boxes someplace. Uh, and so I went to the drugstore, got some antiseptic uh, soap. Uh, it comes in a little squeeze bottle, and uh, it's the type of soap you wash your hands if you're going to do surgery. Or if you got a wound, you can uh, scrub the wound, and it will kill all the bacteria and germs in that wound. And then I had to get some peroxide as well. So it's been a really really and then by the time I got done with that it was time for me to fix dinner and uh, I have to take my eight pills <laughs> at a particular time every night and I try to do that when I eat so because some of those pills you can't take on an empty stomach um, I also uh, had some medicine brought over to me uh, from uh, Donna Evans who's a friend of mine uh, her and her husband live on the west side of the valley, or east side of the valley, in a wonderful house on their own ranch. Um, anyway, she knew about this uh, in skin infection I had, and she knew of a, a product, and I, I'll, let, I'll wait to see if it works before I talk about that. But it's supposed to work within three days, and or a couple of days, or even a couple of weeks. But... Uh, you take a teaspoon in the morning and you take a teaspoon at night and you have to swish it around your mouth for a good minute or two before you uh, swallow it because uh, uh, to absorb it completely uh, or more of it uh, you swish it in your mouth and so I did that tonight and it didn't taste bad it just was weird 
swishing it for two minutes. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start working on uh, the foam base on this piece, but I, like I said, I'm going to have to do that probably tomorrow because it's, it's uh, what time is it? Uh, it's uh, almost 7.30 right now and and I apologize for not getting something going today. I was hoping to get something going, but it didn't. All right, uh, I'm going to go take a shower and uh, watch a little TV and then go to bed. I don't want to start something on a day that was a bad day to begin with. All right, good night, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow.